Yo, what's good, my wolf pack? Elf of the pack right here. And today, in this video, bro, I'm going to be doing a review of Eden Zero, chapter 120, Rebecca versus Brittany. Now, look, I know it's been a minute, man, but ever since the Forest of Arc started, I haven't really been been feeling Eden Zero. Like, like I've been keeping up with the story. I've read each chapter as it came out. But it's like, I felt like everything that happened wasn't hype enough or important enough. At least not to me. I, I wasn't hyped enough. I wasn't excited enough to do a video on those chapters. And I don't want to do videos on a chapter that I'm not particularly excited about. Understand? It's not like I didn't enjoy the chapters. I did. But it's like, if I'm not into making a video... If, not, if I'm not feeling into making a video, then I'm not going to want to put out a, a half-made video. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't want to put out a lame video. I want the video to be somewhat enjoyable. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, it's not like I had any issue with previous chapters. I, I, I literally just wasn't up to making a video. You know what I'm saying? So, I guess it's not that I wasn't feeling the art. It's just that I couldn't get myself excited to talk about said art you know what i'm saying but anyway it's been nine chapters since my last video i've um want this fight rebecca versus Brittany. i have been looking forward to this fight because we don't get many chapters where rebecca shines so i'm really looking forward to this chapter right you know because shiki got his chapter Mora got her chapter. I really wanted to see Rebecca's chapter. And for what it was, even though it was a pretty short fight, I enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? I really enjoyed this chapter. Um, and we got, we're, we're starting to, we're slowly building up. We're slowly learning more about Rebecca's ether gear. Now, some people took issue with this chapter. And while this chapter came out, what I was doing was, I was slowly, I, I was slowly soaking in i was absorbing <laughs> i was absorbing what everyone else was saying about this chapter and everyone pretty much said the same thing right is that everybody was saying that they're concerned about rebecca's ether gear their concerns that her power is going to take away all tension from the story because rebecca can uh, rewind time she can go back in time, like, for whether it be minutes, where it be minutes on end, or she can just leap to a whole nother world entirely. And people were saying that they're worried that it's going to take away all tension from the story. Like, say if she dies and she can just rewind time, or if the crew dies and she rewinds time. People were basically saying that they feel like her power is going to take away tension and there won't be any stakes. I personally don't believe that to be the case. I think Hiro, Hiro Mashima has had enough experience writing stories, working with time travel type stuff that he knows what he's doing. The man's not stupid, okay? He knows what he's doing. So, I have no issue with this. I took no issue with this, right? And I'm hoping that my stance proves to be correct. I'm hoping that I'm not wrong about this. But I believe, I, I got faith in my man Hiram Mashma. I, I'm sure he's planned this out because, I, in fact, he said it. He said he has stuff planned out for Eden Zero. He, he, he's planned certain things out, or, or practically the whole story out. He, he basically said it right. He basically said it right. So, at this point, I'm just looking forward to seeing how everything plays out. I got faith in my boys. But anyway... I'm, I'm really liking Rebecca's power. I'm liking this slow buildup. I can't wait to see how it all comes together. I can't wait to see. I wonder if we'll eventually get an overdrive, Rebecca. That would be cool. You know what I'm saying? I wonder what that would look like. I bet she look like a boss, son. <laughs> Baby girl, Rebecca. But, yo. Getting into the chapter. Um, Rebecca, so... <laughs> well, first of all, let me say this. Brittany, the entire time she was fighting Rebecca, she was going on this rant about about how she hates stupid women. <laughs> and about how it, it's implied that there's this guy that she is interested in, right? Or that she was interested in. And that he overlooked her for this other woman or other woman simply because 
they looked better than they looked better than her, but they're lacking in the brains department, right? And I'm assuming, you know, it's because of the stereotype that blondes are stupid. She thinks Rebecca is a stupid woman, right? And she was going on this rant about how she hates stupid women. Now, when she was doing this, I kind of had, I kind of came to the inclusion. I had the thought that this that this guy that she was interested in was Shura. You know, that psychopathic bastard that murdered those two girls for no reason, simply because they didn't want him, they didn't want him to get mad at this other girl that apparently wasn't returning his calls or something. So, I thought that maybe that she was talking about him because he seemed like a ladies man, even though, to be completely honest, the dude is ugly as hell. <laughs> dude is hella ugly. But uh, I'm assuming the girls got him something because he's a nigga that has power. And usually dudes with power has girls for some strange reason. But I'm just, I kind of felt like she was talking about him and that the sure is the kind of guy that per that desire sick that doesn't really that can't really think you know what I'm saying so I was like huh but if that was the case Brittany Brittany has bad taste in dudes because dear God that man would dispose of you quick he disposed of those girls without a second thought he crushed them with a ceiling <laughs> so Brittany has bad taste in dudes if she if she is feeling sure of because. That man would not care about her. She would be dead in a second. <laughs> so, say if she actually did get with Shura, her life would not last long. <laughs> but, so, the fight between Rebecca and Brandy was pretty straightforward. Um, Rebecca's trying to utilize her speed to throw kicks at Brittany, but Brittany's turning her body into smoke. She's creating after images. She's she's zipping around Brittany, trying to find out ways to hit her. She can't, because Brittany turns herself into smoke. And she realizes that no matter what, what she does, she won't be able to hit Brittany, right? <laughs> so there's this funny scene where she's all like, well, since I can't hit, since I can't hit you, I'm gonna run away, bye. <laughs> So she takes the unconscious Happy and Pino and runs off. And runs off. And um, while Brittany gives chase, she comes to a fork in the path, and she decides to go down a path where that that's on fire due 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 to the earlier battles, right? And she recalls that. She recalls due to this video she watched of one of her friends that one of her friends made that um, smoke that that fire makes smokes that fire makes smoke elevate into the air so that that made Brittany like flew up when she ran down that path that was um, engulfed in flames right and she makes her way back to the village and she sees the familiar scene of the robots you know walking humans on leashes, having them locked up in cages, seeing the piles of dead bodies off to the side, right? And um it looks like a few of them are calling out to Rebecca for for a few of them were calling out to Rebecca for her to help them. And she was all like, nah, I'm sorry, I can't help y'all right now. I gotta deal with Rebecca. I mean, I gotta deal with Brittany. Wow, deal with Rebecca. She was like, nah, I can't help you right now. I gotta deal with Brittany. And um she makes her way into the home electronics shop, right? Well, first off, she hear happy. She hears happy having this little dream about eating, which I assume he's dreaming about eating fish. And <laughs> there was just a moment where Rebecca was all like, "There's no time to be talking about that." And then she was all like, "Oh wait, eating? I have to eat her." <laughs> and when she said that, I was all like, "Whoa, whoa, wait." <laughs> Hold up, what, what do you mean you got to eat her? Hold up, wait, wait, where's this story going? <laughs> and, so, and so then she runs into the, like, the home electronics shop, right? And she comes up, she comes across a vacuum a vacuum cleaner, and um, she decides that she was going to suck Brittany inside of it while she was in her smoke form. And... While Brittany chases her down and enters the shop, Rebecca flips the switch, but the vacuum doesn't start. And it's because there was like a, a user lock on it, right? 
and Pina wakes up and tells her the password and tells her the password, which is like A six six E, I think. And when right when Pina right when Pino says the password, um Brenny immediately she she attacks Rebecca before Rebecca can flip the switch and she completely engulfs Rebecca's body with, with her um highly corrosive poison acidic smoke stuff <laughs> whatever it's called. She engulfs Rebecca in her highly corrosive smoke body and basically that started to this that started to dissolve the flesh of Rebecca. It, it was literally melting her skin. And there was a shot where you saw Rebecca just hunched over on the ground, just just, just bald and bloody. It, it was a it was a really intense shot, dear God. Um, and there was a moment where Rebecca's just like screaming in pain, and all of a sudden her ether gear activates, and we see that um, she goes back to the very moment in time to where she goes back into the very moment in time to to where before she went into the electronic shop and she remembers the password that Pino gave her so when she goes in again she's quickly able to turn on a vacuum cleaner to suck Brittany up and then she just kicks Brittany into the stra into the stratosphere <laughs> and she won a fight okay and now Rebecca was saying that Pino Pino asked Rebecca how she was able to use the pedalite. Wow, wow. Pino asked Rebecca how she was able to utilize the password before she was able to finish analyzing the system. And Rebecca tells her that her cat leaf were activated and that she heard the password from her in a different timeline. And Pino said talks about how how awesome Rebecca's ether gear is. And Rebecca says yes, but then she starts to question on if they're actually in world 31, that the next world or not. Because when she fought Nino, she felt like the world didn't change, but time stood still and that she went back. So, and then it kind of cuts off after that. So, we don't know if we're in another world. If, if we're in another world or not or if she simply just went back in time instead of just jumping worlds you know what I'm saying but um a lot of people were upset about Rebecca's power they think that whenever she's in danger whenever she's close to dying whenever the clue's close to dying Rebecca would just have the ability to jump worlds or go back in time and change all of it but I'm sure Hero I'm sure Hero Mashima has this planned out He's not stupid, okay? I'm sure he's smart enough. To, he's He has to have some kind of thing planned out for Rebecca's power. Some kind of way to limit her abilities. Because even as it stands, she, she can't use her power at will. She can't use it at will. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm sure she's going to come up with some kind of way to limit her. You know what I'm saying? But I have faith in my boy. I, I really don't think it's that big of an issue. I don't think it's going to take away all attention. You know what I'm saying? But it, it just goes to show how vital Rebecca is. And, and you know, it's funny, too, because I'm saying Rebecca was able to ha handle and guide her situations even before she walked into her ether gear. Like, Rebecca's not stupid. Rebecca's actually pretty intelligent. Rebecca's been intelligent. You know, she can handle herself even without her ether gear. You know, that's what she got happy for when he turns into the guns. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I personally enjoyed this chapter. I believe in my man Hero, man. I I, 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 I think he know what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's gonna be an issue in the future. He he's got experience with the whole time travel stuff. I'm I'm just looking forward. I'm I'm just interested in seeing how her power de how her power will develop in the future. I'm really interested in that. You know, I can't wait to see how Rebecca grows. You feel me? And also, I forgot to mention in a bit in the beginning of the chapter, <laughs> there was this moment where um. After Kimura beat down Mora, well, Mora, Mora, <laughs> there, there was a moment after um, Kimura beat down Mora, um, she was about to pass out due to the heat of, you know, the, the high glue and the fire and stuff, right? And um, right when she collapsed, Shiki caught her, 
and he was carrying off. He said he was gonna bring her to a lake, to a lake or a spring that he saw, you know, to get her, you know, to get her recovered, all held up and stuff, all held up and stuff, right? You know, Hamora talks about how you know Shiki is a good friend, how he's reliable, and then you know Shiki was all like, oh, you know, it's cool, you know, friends help each other, and right when he said that. Shiki comes face to face with a bug, a spider. He screams and he passes out. <laughs> of course, of course. Shiki and his fear bugs is so weird, but it's so it's hilarious. I don't like bugs either, but <laughs> it's it's it's, it's uh, strange, but it's, it's funny. I can't lie. At first I didn't at first I didn't really like that weakness of him, but it's 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 all right. It's kind of funny, but. I don't know. As long as it don't get away and, and as long as it don't get in the way of big battles, uh, it, it's all right. But uh, you know, Hamora ends up dragging the Shiki off to the spring instead because he he wants to go and pass out. And he was in Rebecca in uh Hamora was like, it, it's cool, it's whatever. Friends hop each other. Let's go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, that was uh, that was that. I very much enjoyed this chapter. You know, it, it was it was pretty good. You know what I'm saying? But um, apparently I've heard that there won't be an Eden Zero chapter next week because like the magazine's gone on break. So that's unfortunate, but it's all good. My man Hero deserves a break. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, that's basically it. Um, I'm gonna do a Fairy Tale Hundred Years Quest review. I'm just gonna do uh, what was it? Chapter seventy. Was it chapter 70 came out? I'm gonna do chapter 70 and chapter 71 in one video once once chapter 71 drops of 100 years quest. I'm gonna just do both of those chapters in one video. But uh, yeah, man, that's basically it. Oh, let me talk about this. Um, Iron Nancy uploaded a video about this chapter, right? He, uh, Iron Nancy uploaded a video about this chapter, and he basically titled the video "Homora Homora X Homora X Shiki." And he t he talks he's talking about for for a good portion a good portion of the video he's talking about how he ships Shiki and Hamora and basically all of the comments in the video were talking about how they ship Hamora <laughs> x Shiki and I was all like yo people can ship who they want to ship right you know everybody got different ships it's cool everybody got their own ship it's cool but um. Rebecca is best girl. You need to know that. Just saying. <laughs> Cause y'all already know I'm a cheeky ex. I'm a cheeky ex Rebecca shipper. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, 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 you know, people can have their own ships. You know what I'm saying? But I, I just couldn't resist. <laughs> I had to say it. I was like, you know, it's cool that you ship Pamora and Shiki, but um, Rebecca's best girl. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. That's it. That's it. Peace out, my wolf pack. You're alpha. I have spoken. I'll see y'all in my next video.